Let's talk about your role as Tuco in The Good, Bad, and the Ugly. I know the director of the film, Sergio Leone, tried to kill you about twice, didn't he? Well, he tried and didn't try. He said, just do this trick. Just do it. I tell you, you do it. And uh, I, Clint would look at me and say, oh, don't, don't do it. But my first film, my first Western was called The Magnificent Seven. Great movie. It is a great movie. And the seven, of the seven, six are gone. And there's one survivor. Robert Vaughn Still alive. is a survivor. And you were the bandit. I you was know, the head bandit. You were the head bandit. I was, my son said to me at one point, at the end of the movie, Yul Brynner shoots me. And the director said, I want you to, I want the light to go out of your eyes as you die. And a lot of actors take a long time to die. You know, they love the moment. <laughs> so I thought, no, I'm going to do it fast. And I just unfocused my eyes and I went, and, this, and my son saw it. He was nine years old. And he said to me, gee, Dad, couldn't you outdraw Yul Brynner? <laughs> no, I, I said, not Peter, though. it says in the book, I get shot. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> now, uh, Sergio Leone, Leone uh, there were two scenes that he had created. One was the train scene, which you almost got killed. Yeah. And the other one was when you had your hands behind your back on the horse and Clint had to shoot the rope when you, yeah. they were hanging you at the beginning yeah. of the film. Yeah. How did you almost get killed in both of those instances? In the first one, uh, in, the, in the first one on the horse, on mm -hmm. the horse I mm -hmm. said to Leone, I made this up because I hadn't made many movies in California. Right. I said, did you put cotton in the horse's ears? He said, I never heard of that. Good I point. said, in Hollywood, I made up this. In Hollywood, <laughs> they always put cotton in the horse. He, he said, no. He was, I said, there's a rope over my head. And in the rope, there's a little piece of dynamite. And Clint Eastwood would go like this. <laughs> then the, the stunt man, the man in charge, would press the two wires together, and the rope would split as those right. Clint shot it. I said, but the horse is going to take off like a bat out of hell. You have your hands tied behind your back. I have my hands tied behind my back. Two hours on the horse waiting while they light it in the uh. sun and all this stuff. And I'm thinking, oh, you know. <laughs> and there was a poor little lady, one of the extras, though mostly English, who settled there. Yes. And they're saying, Tuco Ramirez, and they do all the names and so on, will be hanged until he's done this crime. and incest and rape right. and I looked at the lady and I went uh, <laughs> yeah. and Leone said keep it in keep, keep it, it in keep it in I said, anyway I said so put cotton in the horse's ears no no Clint shoots the guy goes Phew. the rope splits and the horse says I'm not making movies anymore and he takes off takes with off. me on it with my knees holding a control could have broke your neck could, could. so uh, legend has it that after that scene, this near, near disaster, that Leone's response was, shoot the scene again. He always wanted me to do it over. Oh, no. On the train, there's a train where I jump off with the man who's taking me to prison, and, he, and we're handcuffed. Mm -hmm. I said, I have to pee. He said, he opened the thing, we're standing in the doorway, and the train is going very slow, but down below are mattresses and boxes and all. And just as the man, I said, don't look while I'm peeing. See? Yeah. So he turns his head away and I jump. And I pulled him with me and I killed him. I put his body, or dummy, mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. the tracks. And Leone says, now the, now the train is coming to you. Coming. It's coming very slow. The camera's on you this way. But then I want you to turn your head this way, as though you don't want to look as the train is coming. Sure. And the camera's on this side now, mm -hmm. showing that it's me and not a stuntman. Right? Yeah. So I do the thing. I turn my head this way. And as the last car goes by, out of each door of the train was a, an iron wedge where you could step off and step on. Yeah. And if I had raised my head four inches, I'd have been decapitated. Oh. So I, I, I couldn't, I said to him, I'm not doing it again. Well, he said, we have to do it again, Eli. We missed the focus. And I said, you're not going to, I said, dig the hole deeper. And they dug the hole deeper. The train went by. I did this. The train passed me. And the cameraman said, I couldn't see Eli. He was down very sore. I said, you're never going to see me. You're never going to see me again. You better use the first take. And, and he had to. And he did.